Hey guys, Neil here. I wanted to do a quick video real quick for my friend Marty Lindsay over at um, findnocode.info. This is a product that I'm really starting to like a lot. Um, what it is is basically allows you to quickly search for things that people have put out across multiple digital channels. So uh, anything that's bubble across multiple digital channels. So uh, tutorials uh, that may be on BuildCamp, that may be on YouTube, that may be quick little hits that are on Twitter. Um, they're just scattered all over the place. And what Marty is doing is he's taking all these sources and... <clears throat> He's basically indexing all of these um, how-tos or tutorials or tips or quick tips or whatever you want to call it into one searchable indexed uh, kind of library. And he's built a Chrome extension for it so you can, you can as you can see on the screen, as you can pull it up right in your editor and search. So <clears throat> let's say you're working in your bubble editor and you were looking to, you needed to know how to do something, you could quickly go just launch this extension, type in some stuff either by keyword or by person, the person that you remember maybe created the tutorial, and find it and get right back to it. I think a lot of people have this problem where there's so much content out there on how to do things in Bubble, it's just dispersed all over the internet. And it's very hard to remember where you found things. Yes, you can bookmark stuff in your Chrome browser, or you can put it in a note in Notion, or th there's different tools to do this thing, but uh, Marty has built this very specifically for Bubble developers to be able to do this. I think he's going to expand this into all of no-code eventually, but right now, since Bubble is kind of leading the charge in the no-code world, he built this specifically for Bubble. He's a Bubble developer, uh, <clears throat> and I think it's just a fantastic tool. I'll be very honest, I have not used it very much yet, but today was a good use, real world use case for me that I went to go look how to um, do a, a, a talk. I remember Andrew did a, Andrew Vernon did a toggle uh, that he had put on a, just a how to do this nice animated toggle. And I remember I bookmarked it in my, in my Twitter, but I quickly went and started searching through my bookmarks and just kind of scrolling and, and looking for it. And then I got a quarter of the way down and I go, why am I doing this? Why don't I just go to find no code and type that in? And sure enough, it came up. So this is a tool you guys should be using. Um, regardless uh, if you, you know, you're an expert bubble developer or a beginner or whatever, everybody forgets how to do things. People have come up with very, um, very good ways to do things better. Um, there's obviously multiple ways to skin a cat, but there are obviously better ways to do things over uh, other ways of doing things. So um, this is a tool that I think every should, everybody should be using to just refresh their memory on how they did something or to remember. You don't have to remember where this tutorial was because Marty is doing all the work for you. So let me show you, how you I wanna keep this short. So let me show you real quick how, how this kind of works. Um, you can come to uh, his website and actually search it on the website. You don't have to use the extension. So today I was looking for that toggle. So I came in and just typed in toggle. And I was like, okay, I know it's something, you know, how to, how to build your own toggle. And here it was right here, easily build toggles and, and bubble. And you can bookmark this into your own interface. When you log in, you can bookmark this and just create your own bookmarks of things you know you're going to quickly want to get back to instead of searching. I, I think the search is so good that, like, I don't even really bookmark anything because I'll just go type in whatever, right? Like, I know I've got some stuff that I've put out that I've indexed. And if I just type in my name, I know the things that I put out, these are all mine, are going to come up, right? So... Um, <clears throat> very cool tool here. Uh, but back to that, back to that toggle use case. If I go back and I type in toggle and I go find what I was looking for. Oh, I guess I need to reset it. Oh no, it was there. So if I go and I find what I'm looking for, let's just use this one for instance, Chrome extension to toggle debug mode. Cool. 
Well, he's tagged these things basically. Well, this we know this is coming from Twitter. This is something that's on Twitter. So if you click on it, it's going to take you right to that tweet and that thread where they're talking about this, and you can learn all about it, right? So same thing, YouTube. This this is over YouTube. He's indexed all this. So and he he's made this search very powerful by using Algolia as well. So you can also filter things out by just um, by the categories he's got here. I mean, he's got tons and tons of categories. This is just a really robust tool. Now, if I start to tear this down, you know, I, I've told Marty, I'm very transparent, that <clears throat> I would probably use it better if the UI was just a bit more modern and kind of held some more design standards. And he knows that. He's working on it. He's doing the, let me just get this thing out there, ship it, get people using it, validate it, and get feedback on what to do. I continuously tell him, man, I would probably use this more if the, if the UI just popped, if it just didn't look kind of, I guess you could say, old school to me. And he's well aware of that. Um, so he's going to be working on the UI. But here it is in my editor, right? So I could just come in and say toggle, find what I was looking for in here. And then um, <clears throat> easily build toggles and bubble, right? And then I could click right off to it, go read the tweet, um, you know, whatever it is. So this is a really sweet tool that I think is undervalued right now or underutilized. I, I just love what he's doing here. This is actually something that I would thought about doing probably a year and a half ago, and I just never did it because I knew it's a big undertaking. So go support Marty, go install the Chrome extension, start searching for anything that you're trying to remember that you saw one time about a tutorial or a how-to or a tweet that you remembered or whatever that had to do with Bubble and then just search for it in here. It's gonna save you a ton of time. If it's not there, <clears throat> let Marty know or when you do find it, let Marty know and he'll, he'll index it. And you can actually submit your own um, your own links. You can you can submit to index your own links, and I can't remember where that is. Add right here. So if you just go back and you say you add the URL, the description, and I think it goes through a you submit it right to Marty, and I think he does a kind of approval process to make sure it is what it is. But um, <clears throat> some great stuff. You can give feedback in here, read his FAQs. Uh, he's got some settings in here, probably for account and stuff. Yep, um, different things. I'm going to start using this a lot more. Um, it's just taking me some time to remember that it's actually there. And I told Marty that today. Um, but I am organically starting to use it, use case as in today, where I knew that this existed. I knew I had it in my bookmarks, but I could get to it a lot quicker using this find no code info Chrome extension and app to, to find what I was looking for. So Highly recommend it. A tip of the hat to Marty. I think he's done a great job with this. I, I think more people need to be using this. Um, it's super valuable. It just saves you a ton of time. Um, and then I know he'd love y'all's feedback. So if you could create a quick account. It's all free. It's free. He's not charging anything at the moment. I mean, I think this is going to become a valuable tool where he should be charging. But um, start using it. And give him some feedback. He He really wants to move this product forward. And I see it being of great value to the community. Um, to just just get all this dispersed data and tutorials and anything you can think of that has to do with Bubble into this one area and just save yourself some time. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Um, I hope you'll go support Marty and have a, have a nice evening.